Welcome back to NO1800, folks. Ship constructed. We are doing quite well. We're making decent money. We were making I'll better money before. But now we have a ship of the line, which is nice. And soon we'll have our schooners back. Let's build one more. And how many cannons are we missing for a ship of the line? I think we need to get our workforce up. Uh, because I want to get more cannons going and other stuff as well. So... Let's build a few houses here. Uh, and here. help on the farm workforce. Now, over in the New World, we have all this rum going, and I actually think we're full on rum. We, yeah, we, we can't have any more there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set up a new trade route. And the ship is called Razor Clam. Just say the word. Actually, we have the argument as well. Ra Razor Clam will stay here. So the argument: uh, create route, trade routes, and it's going to be argument, and it's going to be going from there to the old world there. And do I want it to go up that way, right past his island? I'm not sure I do. Let's move it over here so it goes the other way around the islands. I don't know where the pirate is though, which is a little scary. But that's what it's going to be. And we're going to load rum. If I can find the rum. Where's the rum? The consumer goods. There. Ship rum. Constructed. Rum. 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 And it's going to unload all of it down there. Accept. And there we go. We have a ship on our rum route. But we need more storage here because we can actually do 200. So can we upgrade some of these? We can. So let's upgrade some farmers to Jornaleros or uh, some Jornaleros to Obreros. All right, now Jornaleros. Uh, we will help you build something better. Anything they need to tee us. Uh, but can we now? Well, we can now upgrade this. So that's some extra storage. And Obreros. I want. Okay, we need more Obreros to build pier. Uh, but that's not what I want. I want a depot. Why don't I have depots? Do I have depots here? here? Under attack. Okay, it's my uh, patrolling ships here. That's fine. Uh, we do did get a sc new schooner. 
That's a gunboat. There, the schooner. Toto. Uh, you go on there. Remove that. Accept. All right, so that's that. Uh, you know what? Wait a second. We'll grab you and you and you. And we'll go attack. On point. And you know what? Station. Ship under attack. Get on it. And you get on it as well. Ship constructed. All right, that's another Ooh. schooner. Need more guns. So how about we actually artisans sewing machines we'll need a coal mine there's one right there the only one um, we'll need a small warehouse for it we'll stick that there All right, that's more coal coming in. Then we need an iron mine. There's one right there. And I think we'll build a separate small warehouse for that. Like so. What are these here? These are window makers. Ooh, we didn't Always even have a glass maker. Down. We don't have a window maker. Oh, we have a window maker there. Okay. Uh, let's upgrade the fire station. Let's upgrade the two soap factories. Let's build you. So we've got some more pigs. And then I think I'll build another... A sausage factory or two. We have quite a lot of bricks, so we could start uh, increasing our uh, road network, which might be good. Because on brick roads or paved, paved streets, our uh, our stuff reaches further. All right, so then we need some furnaces. So let's build some furnaces. Two of those. That kills our worker popu population completely. So we need to upgrade that. So see here, so if we build some paved streets here, for instance, like this, that should yeah, see, now that reaches there. So we can upgrade these guys to workers. Let's build some more paved streets uh, from this. Actually, I think I'll put a street. Uh, we might as well make it paved right away. We'll build some paved streets up here. Something like that. And now we can upgrade all these to workers. A competitor raised a settlement. Attention, did we Admiral. take out their ship? We did. Let's pick up some stuff. Just do, I guess. 
You okay, just you, I guess, then. A cannon of some sort. Fleet let's get back to harbor. And let's see what that cannon was. Uh, equipped in military ships. Damage per shot plus 10%. So I want that on you. More than ready. And we can build another ship of the line. We need to build another cannery and another uh, artisanal kitchen, I think. So let's do that. How are we looking for canned food? One, so there. Um, definitely need that. Uh, This is looking good, so yeah, we just need to, to actually use it. Alright. We need more farmers. Uh, so let's build some here. That'll do. And let's now I want a weapon factory. I actually want two of them. How many workers do, do they take? Fifty only. Okay, that's good. That's good. So let's build one here, build one here, and we'll get this going down that way, we'll upgrade you, we'll upgrade you, if we could, what are we missing, we're missing some timber, okay. That's fine. Uh, our expedition uh, needs some attention. The ancient labyrinth. Alone in the darkness, they can hear, cannot hear her cries. Deep beneath her, this pleasant island of lavender and thyme, she has fallen to a musty, airless pit. She gathers herself and remembers the few sa safety ma matches left in her pack. You are her. She is you. Lighting a match, you are dumbstruck by a mini fresco room, venerable and forgotten. A woman with a bull is the centerpiece. The great beast seems to so vulnerable under her caress. The outline of a majestic horned door faces north, while a more humble passage heads south. We'll take the humbled, the humble one. We're adrift. In the next chamber, you'll find a set of stone shelves with fragments of wooden figures upon them. Men, horses, and bulls. Toys, perhaps. A distant growl rumbles across the walls, stirring dust from a pale fresco. Facing east is one door. Facing north, flocks of herons make up a labyrinth mosaic surrounding a pillared arch. Um, into the heron labyrinth. Mind-bogglingly complex mazes are etched in dark blue over every tile, on the walls, floor, and ceiling. In the center, a lone figure stands, minuscule amidst the labyrinth, labyrinthine landscape. The fresco in his room depicts a lame metal smith. Just then, you notice something cold lapping at your feet. Water, briny and pale, it seems to be seeping in from a room not far off, facing west. And so the western room returns to the first room we found. Into the western room. An opening in the ground is slowly drawing a sludgy water from all parts. A fountain, perhaps. A ship dominates a, lar a large fresco on the wall. We wonder if it ever managed to return from its voyage unscathed. A large door with a familiar pattern opens to the south. You turn to face it when you notice a second smaller door to the west. A soft hiss. The wind, perhaps, seems to be coming from it. Uh... Let's head west. You push the broken door open. Something on the floor glistens not far off. Reflected sunlight? 
We closed the distance hurriedly before realizing the horror that it was not light but a snake, long and sinister. All around you, its breath and slither curiously out of countless unseen nooks. We take a terrified fight step back and hear an angry hiss. You almost stepped on one. Advance stealthily, stomp the ground with all your might. Advance stealthily. A more patient person might have navigated the serpent weave successfully, or one with greater skill. When your match dies, a strange hiss overcomes the crowd of unlooking reptiles. You strike a new one up hurriedly. As the light flares back up, you make the mistake of letting out a relieved grunt, startling the closest ophidian. It rears its head angrily, bearing long fangs. Leap backwards, crush it under heel before it attacks. Crush it under heel. You leap forward to crush the beast, but feel its fangs sink into your calves. You refrain from howling, instead grab it by the body, twisting its neck and throwing it among its brethren before bounding across the angry hiss of the room as blood trickles down onto your foot. Two staircases lie ahead of you, facing each other beneath a vast fresco of a young woman passing a ball of thread to a young man. Uh, descend the uneven steps. Gasping a gaping chasm stares up at you, where the floor has collapsed into a distant cave far below. A small tar beam narrowed and aid stretches over the pit to the other side. Uh, keep your back straight and swiftly cross the beam. Crouch and crawl along the beam. Keep your back straight. Start across the beam, pacing a few painful feet before it creaks and sags downwards. The surprise throws you off and you fall into the pit. Up, You get up painfully battered and bruised, but, but very much alive. You light a match, one a few remaining, and find yourself facing a strangely ornate door. Chestnut wood half faded, supports and then supports an alarmingly lifelike carving of a bull's head. A cavernous rumbling or is it growling seeps in from behind the door. Open the door. Darkness there, and nothing more. Footsteps echo against the distant vaulted ceiling. You reach for a light and find one match left. One match, and then darkness. Uh, advance without light. You tread a precautious path across the room. Hands outstretched, fum outstretched, fumbling for an exit. Something cold grazes your hand, then a moist, warm breath slowly exhaled. You feel a pronged spur jutting into the palm of your extended hand. A growling thunders and ominous surges, uh, surges into your ears and face. Uh, strike your last match. Reward discovered. Nice. A great bovine head, cruel prong, flares into life as you strike the match. You let out a squeal, then something catches your eye, moss growing on the creature's eye. A statue, lifelike to a fault and to, uh, of the finest craftsmanship. You discover that the brackish warm air gushing in from a hidden aperture in the wall on which it is set is being amplified ingeniously, ingeniously by the marmoreal beast's mouth. A momentous discovery, an entire civilization, a hidden culture, a forsaken sanctuary, an ep epic for the ages. Thrilled to reach behind the creature's neck to a glimmer of light and pry open the brittle wall behind it to emerge into fresh, the fresh air of day. A rare bullhead. Okay. Except. Uh, crap, I need to throw something overboard. Well. The bullhead is diplomacy, so we can use that instead of the beer. All right. Uh, that's the same that we just read, so continue our journey. Let's go to the crocodile, crocodile delta. There's still much talk of the Sailor Lass and the thyme scented island, but where next? I, I just told you where to next. Uh, we'll use some rations. All right. Now, did we build our? That's a cannery. It's a surprising. That's the weapon factories. Okay. Good. So we have more weapons coming in. 
Alright, let's head back to the new world. Uh, there's a ship we there, that's ship Isabel. Where's our, um... Where's our... Where, where, where's Wild Thing? Wild Thing is there. There's an Rada. island right there that we haven't discovered, so let's discover that. Sails! Okay, that's Lady Margaret's island. Is there another island that we haven't discovered? I wonder. On There's probably way. one down here in the corner, right? And maybe one up here. Now oh, that's tiny though. That's not too interesting. Alright, Lady Margaret is here. Everyone is here. There must be an island down here, yeah. Is that the pirate? I wonder, or is the pirate over here somewhere? I hope that's the pirate. Let's kind of be a little bit careful People about going too close. Your leadership. Oh, cool. There's a festival. Where is it? There. Look at that. Woohoo! Ship under attack. Uh, why did it focus on that and lock? Is it because I have that selected? What ship is under attack? Oh, it's my patrols. Okay, but they're, they're winning. Let's check that copy. Uh, edit, we don't want that. Uh, we want that. Asking for the cutlass. Publish. Alright, one ship down, two ships down, three ships down. Nice. Let's show, slow down time a bit. Cannons, nice. Untold perils await us. Okay, an expedition requires our attention. Right, you're still patrolling, so that's fine. You can rely on us. And a pilot equipped in ships moving speed plus fifty percent. Damage slow slow down minus sixty percent. Okay, cool. Uh, well, you're going to have to drop this off over. Here. Alright, so the Land of Lions again. Tomb Raiders! You're alone seeking the fabled lost necropolis, a fable that seems just about credible when eyeing the pale golden shimmer of the windswept dusk from the seat of your camel. Somewhere out there in these waters, under, or in these wastes, sorry, uh, beyond Cyclopean basalt pillars may lie the horde of kings of old, and its great prize, the Vigil of Hor, a statue said to be made from the purest gold and inlaid with countless gems. Your stopover is a busy city on the delta, not far from the supposed site of the tombs. A young woman with a, an academic demeanor hails you as you cross paths in the National Museum. I have found something, she says, and seek a responsible person to help the local museum recover it. Uh, agree to help out of the kind of your heart, decline, then seek with Faro in the hopes of finding the quest for treasure, give up on the promise of the treasure and return to the ship. We'll do a bit of faith there. Reward the governors. You recognize the insignia of the prestigious House of Sands University on the young woman's lapel, an erudite scholar, no doubt explaining at great length that she cares little for riches and only wishes to see the history of her people return to this museum. She lays a ragged, age-tarnished map on the delicate table in a musty back office. Strange symbols around all over it, etched over criss-cross lines that all lead up to a city facing a jackal's head. Asiut. What does that mean? As mentioned in, in the Book of the Dead, it reads, Follow the opener of paths, Anubis. The divine embalmer who holds the key to Asiyu. We need to find where the trail begins. Okay, so Anubis is a, an Egyptian god. Uh, he was a jackal. He had the head of a jackal. Uh, so, okay. Equipped in town horse hall. Workforce plus 15%. 
Hmm. Right, expedition bonus 30 medicine and 30 diplomacy and 10 medicine. Nice, except. Can I stick her there? No. So, I guess we'll do that. Alright. God's followers pray to him as his temple, surely. Okay, plus three. Navigation plus ten. Ship under attack. The task is more arduous than it seems. After much befuddlement, you manage to find a point of convergence somewhere in the distant desert hinterlands. Gathering supplies, you hastily head into the desert, braving the scorching heat and dismally chilly nights in your quest for long lost reward. As you head further into the dunes, however, you are swiftly sobered by the realization that you may already be hopelessly and reversibly irretrievably lost. For how can you tell one dune from another in an endless sea of sand? Let's do navigation. The desert sky at night has a soothing, calming quality. Though the stars are strange and foreign, and many familiar constellations seem disconcertingly twisted, you chart a rough cartography of the skies as they correspond to the desert where you, before you. It is just a few days before you once again reach the desert's edge and the familiar sights of a land where thirst can easily be quenched and breast had for a normal, nominal fee. Yet it will be with no small pride that you will recount your strange experience among the dunes to the rest of the expedition. Continue your journey. Okay. I guess we're going to the Kulusma Canal. Works too slowly. What? Die. Margaret! Why? Hmm. Let's stick you. Steady her course. Why would you do that, Maggie? A scandal. Or is the clear us. Okay. Well, we're going to need more of these then. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Flagship at your service. Right. That's not the pirate's island. All right. Let's send Coordinates you over plotted. here. We're going to have to send some ships to a new world. This you is... show weakness. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a pretty nice island. Pretty nice island. No rivers. Damn, this is a nice island. I wish I'd gotten that. Oh, well. Uh, okay, how are we doing here? It's not special here, but... So Still we need tortillas. To and we need a church. Ship constructed. Right. Let's build the chapel there. And the police station. Can we fit that in here as well? We can. Nice. that. Right. Can't believe Maggie had declared war on us. That's so annoying. I guess the pirate is over here somewhere. Dang it. Is that him right there? Ship under attack. I guess it is. Uh, how are we looking for? All right, we're fine there. How about rum? Fifty-one. Okay. Uh, And what about everything else? Let's let's get a quick overview of 
our supply situation here. Let's upgrade you. Mm, Alright, we need some engineers to upgrade again. Okay, so uh, fish Under is decent. God damn pirates. You and you patrol from here. Commencing patrol to over here. Right, we have two of these guys now, so that's good. And we have two more on the way. Make that three. They are expensive though. They cost upkeep costs 250. So we need to get something Boys going here. Raise you. We need to get sewing machines going. So we need some more lumber unless we already have it. And then we need a sewing machine factory. How much lumber do we have in storage? Quite a bit. But we will probably need one more. Okay. Alright, so we're going to save up for Admiral. for that. Admiral. All right. Our expedition again. The Kalusma Canal. The explosion scattered the debris across the canal. As your helmsman carefully steers into the nas uh, nascent Kalisma Canal, a deafening blast ahead of you sends most of your crew sprawling across the deck. The initial shock overcome. They rush to the, their station to pull the ship into a crawl. Excuse me. Uh, bringing it to rest mere feet away from the listing flame-wrecked car carcass of a ship. Doubtless it will be days before all is cleansed and navigation can resume. One of your sailors furrows their bry their brow. In it in it odd that there ain't no one in the water. Odd indeed. In fact there's no trace at all of the exploded ship's crew, an irresistible mystery. Observe the wreckage for information plus twenty percent. Request ship records from the canal authority plus thirty percent. Let's do that. All in the big guns. It takes some persuasion, but you convince the officials to let you look into the cargo report for the ship. It reads, F.S. de Frere, H. from Aquiana, cleared for crossing the stay, upholstery and tools. Noted nothing salient, yet something feels off and your sailor quickly remembers. F.S. Is that an imperial prefix? Then why register the ship as foreign? Slowly it dawns upon you. Assuming this is no mistake, does it not imply deliberate sabotage test sabotage by your own countrymen. It may have implications for the crown if you were to inform the locals. Our loyalty is queen. The people have a right to know our loyalty is to the queen. Fortunately, only a few crew members heard the ghastly secret. All of them are immediately pledged to silence for queen and country. When their duties have been resumed, your captain sends a carefully worded epistle to the to Sir Archibald Blake, assuring him of the crew's loyalty and abnegation in removing any evidence. Surely the Queen will reward such loyal suspect subjects. Cool. All right. We'll continue on. Uh, let's go to Savannah. And continue on. We still have 80% morals. So uh, we're, we're doing okay for that. See, we have a lot of workers that, so we might as well upgrade some of them. Like that. Like that. that will make us some more money and that's what we want we want to make money there's coming canned food in 
How are we looking? We were going to take stock of everything, weren't we? So, fish is going up, work clothes is going down. And so that's something that we need to do something about right now. Farmers, uh, work clothes. How are we looking for wool, though? Where is there a warehouse there? Wool is fine for now. So let's just build a couple of these guys. We're taking every care. I think we need a warehouse over here. Ship under attack. Again, our trade ships here. Awaiting new horizons. All right, when is this done? It's gonna be a while. When we have five, I think we can start taking action. Who is this? Knights That's Maggie. Chariot shall whisk you away. That's Maggie. Go away, Maggie. So we're making over 2,000 now. Uh, let's quickly take a peek at the new world before we end the episode. And see how we're doing here. It's all thanks to uh, your yeah, leadership. Yeah, we need some tortillas. And I'll sing about these it. These guys are perfectly happy. How much rum do we have in storage? 150. So that's good. And do we have? We do have cotton facility, so that we could start producing cotton as well and cotton fabric to make fur coats for our uh, artisans which would make them happy which would make us money you are overloaded so let's do that oh and we wanted to see I need more We careen into the unknown. Isn't this a crane? It's in boxes. No, it's an ornament. Okay, an expedition requires our attention. So we're going to end the episode here, guys, because we are uh, in the time zone of, uh, or the time frame of, uh, of doing that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.